<laughs> I love it. Okay. You can sleep here for days. So now we can market this to night shift yeah. this is. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the property that's right behind us, worth about $1.5 million. And Monica is going to walk through the property with Brandon. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my house. Kidding. <laughs> the reason why we want to make this video is because many of you are always asking me, how much can I possibly afford if I move to Sacramento or this part of California? Well, that's exactly what Brandon is here to answer. What kind of property somebody who makes $100,000 a year, $200,000 a year, or $300,000 a year can afford in this area? So we'll be talking about that later on, but for now, let's go inside. beautiful i love the big windows you can see everything you can see the beautiful views and the oak trees up there it's super open this is perfect for somebody who is a youtuber or a content creator this is like your this could be your studio this is your space. space absolutely i can see our like lighting equipment here and like hang it from the here. wall get get the full <laughs> thing going i love it with the lighting and it could be a fifth bedroom as well if you wanted to there's a total of four bedrooms in this house this could be like a new york city like, <laughs> exactly 100 yeah. and here we'll see the laundry room over here It's super open and you have plenty of room for storage if you want to put towels in here, whatever it may be, um, detergent, whatever. I'm a big fan of the black and white. It's like so trendy. It's trendy so right trendy now. and it's mm -hmm. so like, I feel like it's somewhat timeless as well. Like you yeah. can kind of leave it and it'll always be in style. Yeah, as long as we keep it clean. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> which is the do. hard part. <laughs> and then lastly, we have for this section of the house, we have this bedroom over here. Another guest bedroom. Um, it has an ensuite shower and bathroom, as well as a walk-in closet. <laughs> Plenty of room. It's, it's really tall, too. That's a nice size bathroom, too. It's super big. And everything, yeah. this house is about 3,000 square feet, so super open, has plenty of space. Right. Walking in, we will see the beautiful view with the family room. <laughs> it is. Wow. It's gorgeous. And I again, like you were talking about, the rolling hills of El Dorado Hills. So high. You see the full view. We have, I believe we have 18 foot ceilings in here. Everything is massive. This is 18 feet? I believe so, yeah. I love having tall ceilings. Like, Same not necessarily here. having like a big, big house, but having mm -hmm. tall ceilings is just like so detrimental to making the house look so big. Oh yeah, and open and bright and everything, right? You got all the extra cleaning. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and then we have a big fireplace over here, which is super pretty. And then this opens the up into the kitchen. Look at this. Um, it's awesome, dude. And Look it's this. so open. I'm going to get myself comfortable. Make yourself comfortable. And we have cabinets <laughs> under here as well, which is oh. a, uh, something that I really like because you never see that on these islands and it's just wasted You're space. Right. Yeah. So there's cabinetry and space everywhere in here. Well, I wonder what it looks like on the other side then. Yeah. So we have storage on this side as well. Um, it's just a huge island. So there's room for everything. So it's like a two-tone. I like that. Exactly. Two yeah. And then we have a six burner stove. So plenty of room for cooking. And it opens up right into this dining room with a view as well. And then we can <laughs> check out the garage. So we have a two car garage in here. So this is a little bigger than the, your typical 20 by 20 because mm -hmm. our garage is 20 by 20. Totally. And I feel like we cannot fit like a big SUV in there. No, totally. Yeah. And then if you do, there's no storage, right? Exactly. So there's a little bit of cutout right here, which is perfect for that. And then you have the driveway as well, because in our driveway, our driveway is just short. Yeah. So we cannot, we can't have a third car. Totally. It's hard. What's out here? <laughs> there's stairs over here that are leading down to the backyard. You cannot be a false risk going down <laughs> yeah. here. When you come up here, you have like that sense, like this house feels like it's like, a two family house. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like it's just one house, right? right. It's, it's like two tier. Exactly. I think everything mm -hmm. in this neighborhood and in Folsom now with all the new construction, a lot of it is multi generational. A lot of uh, families are living together. Yeah, I like that. That's the new thing now. It's totally acceptable to live with your parents till you're like 30, it's especially in Asian and Indian uh, cultures. A lot of the times they are multi like generational in one house. Exactly. And I love that. I think it's, um, <laughs> I think that's the one of the best benefits of real estate too, is you can pass it all down. You can't pass exactly. down a stock portfolio. You have to clear out all that money and, and give it to them, which is a great thing still. But when you have real estate, it's something tangible. They can live in it. They can sell it in the future. And it's a uh, you know, sentimental tax value as too. well. Yeah, exactly. Where are we heading this time? Headed down to the master bedroom. Ooh. Um, super open. 
I really love this space because it's it's just big and it's but it's still comfy like we were saying it's it's cozy but it's large you the know the view though I know I it's mean, so look how awesome big this window this is. window is my favorite they call it a picture window because you could just see everything it looks like a framed picture um, but it's so pretty and you can see the hills you can see El Dorado Hills houses up there there's goats on the hill over there it's just really pretty I love it and this is your master waking up mm-hmm Right. The sunrise. Beautiful views. Like, you can't complain. Uh, it's a good size, too. Exactly. Ooh, here then, we are. Yeah, make our way into the bathroom. So we have a freestanding tub, beautiful this is, finishes. Does this work? Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything's on. That, like, people want. And then the little toilet room. Toilet room. room and a, then... It, there's a window in there. Yeah, <laughs> there's I a like window that. everywhere, right? I Keep like it that. super bright. Every I bathroom love it. should have a window. Everyone okay? should. <laughs> All right, listen, you're not going to stink up the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Although, if you're a night shift nurse, this is what you need need exactly this is it <laughs> sleeping on the floor that, that was me. That was me. <laughs> i love it that is crazy but the grind never stops so i can definitely appreciate that wow i want to see how pitch black it is in here it's crazy <gasps> Like you can't see yeah, anything. Yeah, you can sleep here for days. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cave. <laughs> well, okay, so now we can market this to night shift. Yeah. This is. <laughs> and then out here we have our first deck. Ooh. Super pretty. Again, you can see the views. We have a fan and lighting out here for nighttime as well. But this is my personal favorite neighborhood in Folsom. Oh, really? Everything's like right so here? modern. Yeah, oh, I wow. love the modernness. I love all the architecture in here. So I'm like, it's, it's my favorite. We can take our way down to the downstairs area right now. We can see we have a little bathroom right here for any guests to use as well. Echo Beach? Yeah, so they have everything in this house and they really think of everything in it, you know, it better with a $1.5 million price tag. Right? But it is brand new. It's in a great luxury. neighborhood. Again, all gated. Um, very tall ceiling. Yeah, it's very luxury feeling. Tell your college kids, like, hey, this is your spot. That's it. Don't bother us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just super open. You could put in like a movie theater space down here too. Super this cute. is this will you know the light will kind of differ that, but um, it's just super pretty and open and room for tons yeah, of possibilities. Yeah, for like adult kids. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And then we have one of the bedrooms down here. Ooh. Tons of natural light, big windows, plenty of space. And it's a it's a pretty good size bedroom. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like this could be yeah. you could still put in a queen king size bed and fit in here perfectly. Look at that view though. It's so pretty. And That's yeah, you back up. So cute. unlike a lot of these houses in this neighborhood, you back up to a green belt on this one. Almost ninety yeah. percent of the other houses don't have a green belt. They're just backed up to other houses. Exactly. Oh. And a and good then, size bathroom. Absolutely. You have the window in the bathroom just like you like. And too. then this is like <laughs> shared with that other room too. Exactly. Yeah. Look, windows, so important, you know? Circulation. <laughs> <laughs> Everything has to flow nicely. But at the same time, I'm like, I like it when my house smells good. Oh, for so sure. So <laughs> like, if you're going to blow up my bathroom, you better yeah, open up that window. You better open a window and have the opportunity, <laughs> right? So here we have almost a model match. Just another big bedroom. Pretty big. Um, with a ton of closet space. Lots so this one actually has more closet space. Closet, and right? it's so tall too yeah exactly and lastly we have um this outdoor space we have Guys, one more look how deck. heavy this door is it's, it's like super heavy duty robust. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> I think they're going to be putting stairs right here as well. So you can make your way down to if you want to put in a pool. All right, you're right. There's like no that. stairs here right now. You could yeah. just jump off. If you are looking to buy a house like this, which is almost $1.5 million, it's going to be about $9,100 a month. And if you are a double income family where you are two nurses, you're probably going to be making around $200,000 a year uh, here. So combine the income of about $400,000. After taxes, you're going to come home with about $22,000 per month. And if you own a home like this, you're paying $9,100, you're making $22,000, you're going to be left with about $12,000 every single month. Actually, you know what? Talk about the income ranges and what you could afford based on your income range. So when we're looking at 100K income, when you're making 100K a year, you can afford about $575,000 purchase price with about 20% down. Now, when you're looking at $200,000 yearly, you can afford a $1.15 million house with, again, a 20% down payment in today's rate, which is a great purchasing power, especially here in Folsom you can get pretty much anything you want with $1.1 million. Now, if you want to go into something luxury like this, it's going to be a little bit higher, which comes into our 300K annual earnings. You will see about a $1.7 million purchase price with 20% down. And so these are all averages as well. So when you go into interest rates changing, things like that, depending on what you're putting on and the down payment, as well as other little factors like debt and things like that, it can very much sway, but those are very broad ideas of what you can afford with those incomes. Hey guys, this is future Jason talking. One thing I forgot to mention in the 
video is that if you are looking to buy a house out here in Sacramento, you should not go at the top end of your budget. What you should do instead is try to buy a house that's about 25% of your income. And that's your take home pay. So I did mention that your take home pay is going to be about $22,000 a month. If you are a dual income nursing couple, that means that you should be looking for a house that's going to give you a monthly mortgage payment of about $5,500, which equates to at the current rates at about $870,000. So let's get back to the interview. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button, Absolutely. subscribe to the channel, of right? Course. And for those of you that are interested in buying a property out here, I want you, Brandon, to let us know how they can reach you. So I go anywhere from Sacramento to the Bay Area, so I can work pretty much anywhere and help you out in this area. Uh, you can find me on Instagram is probably the best spot. Uh, Brandon Butler underscore the realtor on Instagram. Uh, so I post a bunch of house tours and educational content on there and feel free to reach out, DM me and my number's on there as well. If you guys want to see more properties like this or in different price ranges, let us know. And Brandon's going to take us to those properties. Free range. You know, I, I'll take you guys to any of them. We can yeah. check them out and uh, kind of get a lay of the land and feel like anyone can kind of get an idea of where they want to move to.